How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are rebuilding the San Diego Padres. If you guys are looking forward to this, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, let me know in the comment section below which team to do next. So if you missed the last video, it's going to be coming across the fit my face right here. There's a little icon. Click it. It takes you to the Baltimore Orioles rebuild. And we actually make that team pretty solid. So you need to go and check it out. See what moves we did. So the roster we're using for today's video is real full minor league that's that's what it's called real full minor league it's by gus bus 022 yeah gus bus 022 i wrote it down so i could see it and so i could tell you guys so that's the roster we're using so with the padres the thing that made me really excited about using the padres this season is that tatis jr is in the minors and from or in the majors he's in the majors and from what they what he's shown so far in his limited at bats is he looks like he's going to be really good so let's let's get into this let's not like just delay this anymore so garrett richards is recovering from tommy john so i know he's not pitching in this year robbie erlin from the research i've seen he's going to be a bullpen arm so we're gonna move him to the bullpen so it's a little bit more realistic and then matt strom is actually starting so we're gonna make him a starter Another thing about Strom is he has pretty low stamina, so I'm, I'm just going to bump it to 71. It's nothing too crazy, and I think that's it's an okay thing to do. It makes him an 82, and he may not even develop too much more. So Lucchese, Lamet in real life is coming off of Tommy John, so again, he's not pitching either. Um, and then Lauer, Paddock. So between these guys, I'm okay with them. Richards, I'm probably going to look to trade because he's got C potential, so he's only going to get worse. Strom is good. Lucchese is good. Lamette, we'll see how he does. His stats usually mean he does poorly just based on the fact that his low walks and home runs per nine and his hits per nine are kind of low. So they kind of hurt him in a sim style franchise. Lauer, we'll see how he does. Paddock, I'm probably going to bring up next season. Relief pitching, Craig Stammen, look in like real life is not a bad pitcher like he's pretty decent but for this one he's going to decrease in rating pretty quickly so we're gonna trade him while we can robbie erlin i'm cool keeping jose uh castillo i'm good keep he usually turns into a pretty solid pitcher and then here is kind of the issue where we have we kind of need to strengthen this relief pitching um closing pitchers kirby yates i'm cool with keeping him as long as he does well um catchers we don't have to worry about it hedges and mejia both solid options Hosmer, I'm going to give him like a half a season or a full season trial because he has C potential. I don't know if he's going to get too much better. And contract wise, it's a pretty big contract. So moving forward, Kinsler, same thing. I'm going to see how he does. He is 36, so he'll probably start to decrease in rating. He's not on the biggest contract. So it's not like it's if he does average, it's a loss. Like we'll see how he does. If he does well, we'll keep him. Machado, not going anywhere. Tatis Jr., not going anywhere. Luis Urias, not going anywhere. I'm expecting him to be our backup shortstop and second baseman and even third baseman if we need it. Left my, left field is Will Myers. Travis Jankowski, not a bad option to have as a back, backup, but we do have other backups in Framiel Reyes who I'd rather give time to compared to Jankowski. And in center, Manuel Margot is my biggest question mark in the outfield. I'm thinking about picking up somebody else instead, but I'm going to give him a little time, see how he does, see how he increases in rating. And if he does well, we'll keep him. If not, he's probably going to go. So Margot um, is on a little bit of a trial and Hosmer is on a little bit of a trial. And then um, Stammen and Richards are probably be the two that will be traded this season right away. So let's make those moves and let's get this first season started right away. All right, first trade we're making is for Taylor Rogers of the Twins, the lefty. Um, one and a half million on the contract. He also has arbitration for Chris Rowley, Overstreet, and Garrett Richards. Um, I know it leaves us down a starting pitcher, but the bullpen was our biggest question mark, and I want to strengthen that while we can. The second trade we're making in this season is for Corey, uh, Corey Kniebel, Corey Kniebel, Evil Kniebel. I don't know. I can't, I've, I've, I've heard his name pronounced, and I've known the correct pronunciation, but right now I'm just, it's not there. So Corey, so Corey's coming from the Brewers, um, possible setup man or closer for us. In return, we're sending Brett Kennedy, Esturi Ruiz, and also Craig Stamen. Already probably the last trade of the first season, Lou Trevino. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this guy. He either does really well or he does absolutely terrible. So I'm hoping it's the really well part, um, that he, or the really well side of his game. Lou Trevino's coming in for Javi Guerra. He's kind of the big one of this trade 
and two relievers that I would rather replace with Trevino instead, Warren and Loop. So those are the trades. I'm going to quickly move the roster around and we'll get the season started. Alrighty, so to start season one, our starting rotation is probably our weakest part of the team, mostly because I focused heavily on the bullpen. We do have Erlin now in the long relief spot with Castillo, Stock, Trevino, Rogers, Yates, and Nebel, Knievel, Evil, Knievel, whatever you want to call him. Um, do I want Yates there? We'll, we'll try Yates there to start. And then we have um, starting, we have Strom, Lucchese, Lamette, Lauer, and Perdomo. Um, I brought Perdomo up from the minors because he's the oldest of the starters. And I want Paddock to develop a little bit more before we bring him up. For the lineup, we have Margot leading off for the right-handed lineup. We Then we have Hosmer, Machado, Reyes, Will Myers, uh, Ian Kinsler, Tatis Jr., Hedges, and then the pitcher spot. For lefties, we have Kinsler leading off, um, and then Hunter Renfro comes in to take over for Will Meyer. So Renfro and Ma Reyes, I want these two to develop really, really well. Um, if Will Myers just doesn't play well and isn't living up to it, we'll probably trade him so that we can get these two involved right away. Maybe trade Myers for another arm because, you know, pitching wise, we may not develop as quickly as I would like. So we'll have to see what we do. Maybe even get a new second baseman if need be. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's we're, I really didn't want to make too many changes this first part of the season because I want to see how well this team does prior to any changes and see how this young team develops. And hopefully we get some good growth and we can get this first season or, you know, maybe hit the playoffs first season and most definitely the second. Already draft day. Let's see how this goes. We have the sixth pick. Um, I don't think any of these players are players that I was interested in. So we should be fine. Yeah, I wasn't interested in any of these. Let's get let's get into it. We're gonna go Pedro Valdez with our first pick. He throws gas, doesn't have too many pitch options, but I'm just most of the picks this season are pretty lackluster. All right, we're gonna go with Ricky Clark. Um, every single player I have scouted is gone, and that probably means they dipped in rating. Yeah, I don't have any more players scouted. Holy cow. All right, we'll give him a shot. Corey Rohrball. Rohrball. Man, uh, third round. We're probably just going to move through this draft quick because I have no confidence in our picks this year. This is not looking good. Um, We'll go Omar here. Ah, I guess I didn't scout good enough. Or well enough i thought i did but i guess not we're gonna try matt francisco here he's not one of the highest potential rated players but i'm gonna shake it up a bit see how it goes all right we're gonna go gene gale we'll take a shot here with the left fielder and we got one more pick let's see how it goes here um let's just see brian purvis does not look at all interesting to me gary boucher 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 who knows um Let's just, we'll just go Garrett. Um, man, that was, that was bad. That was very bad. So as you can see, our first pick, Pedro Valdez has a 65 overall. He's a potential and it is 93 potential for him. Um, Ricky Clark is a 66 overall with B potential, um, 82. Yeah, this draft was very, very bad. You guys can see the last pick actually wasn't too bad. Garrick Boucher, Boucher, Boucher. I don't know. B potential, 75 overall. Good stamina, good hits per nine. Decent velocity and 84 potential. So not a bad last pick. But for the rest, Gene Gale, 74 potential. Uh, Matt Francisco has 72 potential. And then Omar has 70. So overall, not the best of drafts. Um... Yeah, I just, pff, that was a bad one. So I just went through the draft, the draft, like all the other teams draft picks, and there really weren't that many standout players at all. Most, I mean, there were, I think like seven other 90 potential rated players. Um, maybe uh, there was probably about 10 other 90 uh, potential players, but overall there really wasn't a player that was like 70 or 75 overall that had high potential. Um, so this draft as a whole just wasn't a good one. Alrighty, so in the West, we are 18 games back. Um, in the wild card, we're about 10 and a half. We're five games under 500, which I was kind of hoping where we're, we were a little bit better. We're 17th ranked overall as a team, fourth in defense, ninth in power, 
pitching's a little low, speed's um, low, and contact is 21st as well. Let's quickly look at the team. Matt Strom, um, at 7-6 and six on the year, 120 innings, 2-4-1 ERA. So as a starter, he's actually doing pretty solid. Um, his whip's about 1.26 as well. Um, good strikeout numbers. That's good to see. Joey Lucchese slowly increasing, um, but with his stats in a sim style franchise, it, he's just he's gonna have a rough outing. Um, so as long as he's continuing to develop, that's really what I want to see. Denilson Lamette, um, kind of the same situation. I want him to increase in rating before I start like really judging him. Um, at this point, next season they're probably looking at a four and five starter for me because I'm looking to bring in some good quality pitching. Unless they really grow and show me that they're like ready to be a three or a two. Um, Eric Lauer, not a bad season. Um, the whip's a little high, but uh, let's, you know, overall, the runs, a uh, little bit less than Lucchese and Lamette. So pretty solid year for him. And then Perdomo, he's actually having a decent year minus the ERA. You know, runs are low compared to the other um, starters in Lamette and Lucchese. So not too bad. Robbie Erlin in this long relief role looks to be doing pretty solid. Jose Castillo, not too bad, not too bad. Robert Stock is a player that probably looking to replace soon. Lou Trevino, this is what I want to see from him. This is the type of stuff I want. Um, Taylor Rogers, not doing too well. Hmm. Obviously, morale is hurting him there. And then Corey Knievel, Evil Knievel is not doing too well. But Yates is doing really well. Um, yeah, he's only blown three saves. Low earned runs. Um, good strikeout numbers in 40 innings. That's 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 good. So maybe maybe see if Kniebel, uh, Kniebel works a little bit better in the closer role. And let's see how the team is doing here. Um, I forgot to turn off injuries again. That's like, I got to remember. I, I keep forgetting to turn off injuries. Margot's been hurt a lot of this season. Um, shoulder separation, it says two months. Um, so looking at the team... Why is Jose Perilla up? <laughs> what is that? Um, but let's see. Let's see how everyone's doing. Eric Hosmer. Okay, that's that's all right. Um, obviously, he's gone down a little bit in rating, but that's good. Manny Machado is down in overall as well. Not having the best of season compared to the season before. Hunter Renfro's up to a seventy-eight. Okay, got it. Maybe get him some more at bats. Will Myers looks like he's having a good season. Tatis Jr. is up to a 75, hitting 280 on the year, 343 on base percentage. What was this slugging? 426 and a 769 uh, OPS. Kinsler, probably going to replace him. We definitely need to find a player to replace him. Hedges isn't doing horrible. Um, you know, 17 homers and 44 ribbies is not not bad at all. He's already eclipsed what he did last year. Um, that's the pitcher spot. What am I doing? Framiel Reyes. Hmm. 224 average. Mejia's going up, which is good. Um, Urias is not really doing that great. I mean, obviously, he's had limited plate appearances, and uh, uh, Perilla's there. So maybe... I don't want to do this because this is really bad for fielding, but just to get him more at bats and more playing time, We'll put Fran Mill Reyes in. We're doing it. We're going all out. And Hunter Renfro is playing center field for us because we're 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 nuts. We're we're doing stupid things. Um, let's let's try it out. Um, Hosmer, he's going down in rating, but he's not doing horribly. Um, the big one right now is Ian Kinsler. So I'm gonna see if I can find a replacement for Ian Kinsler. Urias is not there just yet. Um, I don't even think if I played him in every game that. Um, his rating would go up too much. Um, so, I mean, we could try it. He's up to a 71 there. So maybe just trade Kinsler. See if we can find someone else. Maybe like a bench bat. Or maybe some more pitching. And then just see how the rest of the season goes. And then during the offseason and next season really make the big moves. Already right, Chris Devensky is a player I normally trade for. Mostly because he has decent trade value. Um, or not the best of trade value. But for this one, we're getting rid of Eric Stout. Um, Ian Kinsler 
and Boog Powell. So I said he doesn't have a lot of trade value, but he does well. Like normally it's super easy to trade for him. And why not get a good pitcher that you can trade for quite easily? Um, plus, I want to see how new players do in this year's installment of Sim Style Franchise. Um, you know, it could be a little bit different from previous years. Plus, I'm really trying to strengthen this bullpen. Um, Robert Stock is 100% getting sent down to the minors. I don't want him in the team that much more. Um, he's having a pretty rough season anyways. Um, and like I said, I want to kind of leave the team as is and see how it goes. So we're going to leave it like this for the rest of the season and just, just test it out. It could go really good, could go really bad. So we finished 76 and 86, obviously not good enough for the postseason. Um, awards wise, Tatis Jr. won Rookie of the Year. So we're definitely gonna have to take a look and see how he did. In the standings, um, 26 games out and 14 out in the wild card. Um, obviously we need improvement. Um, you guys can see we're missing one of our starting pitchers. That means they got hurt. Joey Lucchese got hurt. You can see Matt Strom's actually doing pretty solid. 2.66 ERA, 9 and 7 on the year, which isn't amazing considering he started 33 games. But low earned runs, I really like to see that. Good strikeout numbers, and um, especially since he only pitched 175 innings, he struck out 207 batters. Those are that's that's what I want to see. He might he might end up being an ace. Denilson Lamette's up to a 74. Um, these runs, we, we definitely want to get him down, um, especially if he's pitching. If his innings are less than his runs allowed, we definitely got to get those runs down. Um, Lauer, about, wait, let's see. Lamette, 94, so Lauer had about 20 less. He also had about 15 innings less as well. Um, Perdomo, seems like he cooled off compared to how he started the season. So definitely need we're definitely in need of some starting pitching next season. Stock is a name that I'm not looking to keep around. Erlin was kind of our makeshift starter um, while Lucchese got hurt. And he actually seems to be doing the job pretty well. Um, Castillo's up to a 77. His potential has dropped a little bit though, which I don't want to see. Davinsky, 3 ERA. I think his was in like the mid twos when we first traded for him. So we definitely want to get him to go down with that. Trevino is up to a 83 with a 2.5 ERA. So an even better year last year. He threw, or then this year, um, his whip went down, strikeouts went up. He obviously pitched some more, but his earned run stayed about the same, even though he pitched 30 innings more. Taylor Rogers. I'm hoping he has a rebound year next year. Kirby Yates looks to just have an amazing season. And Evil Knievel is not panning out so it's looking like two of our pitching uh trades aren't panning out so far so um, let's look at the bench really quick francisco mejia is up to a 71 um he's kind of our backup at, uh catcher right now so i just want him to continue to develop uh, manuel margo came back from injury he's still a 70 and i feel like we're just gonna have to find a new center fielder um we'll, we'll have to figure it out framil reyes I need that average to go up a little bit more and then I'll be happy. But otherwise, I, I'm, I'm OK with those numbers. Jankowski, probably a player I'm not going to be looking to bring back, but didn't have a horrible year. Machado's down to an 89, which is not good. Um, he obviously didn't have the best of years. And the fact that we did poorly doesn't help. Hunter Renfro's up to an 80. Um, so it's weird because his power numbers should be a little bit better. You know, like home runs and ribbies. So we might have to tinker with the lineup a little bit. Eric Hosmer had a good year. I was questioning him, but he definitely had a really solid season. Will Myers. Whoa. 89. He was another player I wasn't sure about, but he's definitely he's definitely proving his worth. Um, I might have an idea. and I'm not going to say it now. But I think I figured out how to get most of these people into the lineup. And a center fielder is really the only position that we'll have to look to fix. So I, I figured it out. Tatis Jr. is, I mean, that's those are decent numbers. You know, 77 overall, which is decent. 17 homers, 63 ribbies, 287 average. That's, that's solid. 357 on base, 810 OPS. 
not not too shabby not too shabby um Urias, we definitely want to see his hitting numbers improve and austin hedges looks like he's going to be our starting catcher for the foreseeable future he's looking like he's having a pretty solid year um or had a pretty solid year i should say so looking at our pitching chris paddock is already one of our better pitchers um he's def he's most likely taking the step into the bigs next season lucchese i want him to develop i want to see him develop i met him this um spring training he's a really nice guy really cool guy um and you know i want to see him develop i think he's got the stuff to do it let's see him develop and you guys can see our pitching prospects they're developing quickly so maybe by season three we should have a um a feature by some of them and then looking at the rest of our team we don't really have too many other prospects to be excited about so we'll, we'll, we'll just focus on the pitching ones for now so that's that's about it in terms of the season you guys can see the playoff picture there minnesota versus the yankees the blue jays the blue jays whoa the blue jays versus the red sox and then houston's waiting and they got the pirates versus the phillies and the mets and the dodgers waiting to take on or one of those two are going to be taking on colorado so let's quickly sim that's a, that's a pretty interesting playoff picture that's definitely an interesting one the red sox defeat the mets that's there's some teams that I definitely wouldn't have expected. The Blue Jays, the Twins, the Pirates. Some pretty interesting ones. So let's get into the offseason and see how Season 2 goes. Alrighty, so for arbitration, you guys can see all the ones that were offered so far. Um, and then I didn't add for one to Jankowski because I might see if I can find someone, um, someone else. Perdomo got it, and then Margot got it. The rest did not. In terms of contracts... Um, yeah, I think all these players, he won't, Stock won't, but everybody else should get one that's listed here. Yeah, so everybody else should get one and we should be, you know, we're, we're probably full in terms of salary space. So we're definitely going to have to make some moves to free up some space so that we can acquire a player too. So the Blue Jays, a playoff team, I just wanted to show this because they've made some moves. Sevy. Hamilton and Bogarts are all there. Okay. All right. Now I know why they made the playoffs. Another team that have made moves this offseason, Josh Donaldson and Bumgarner have joined the Mets. They're definitely going to be a pretty solid team in the East and even in the NL now. Already, just as I said, Bogarts was going to the Blue Jays. They just traded them to the Phillies. I, okay already looking at the team to start the season you guys can see that garrett boucher guy that we drafted last season is already one of our better pitchers um i'm really tempted to bring him up um paddock is just there i definitely want to get him into season three i'm gonna let him sit in the majors one more season um so it's looking like we may need one pitching arm for sure like one starter we'll see what he does when we bring him up he goes down so let's let's bring him let's leave him in triple a um, let him develop a little bit more, but for the future, we're looking pretty set on starters. Um, I might look just to bring in like a three this season. Looking at the um, bullpen, we're definitely in need of at least one arm. Rogers, I'm not sold on anymore. Um, Erland did pretty solid last year. Trevino did well. Davinsky did well. Um, Castillo, I'll give him one more season. Um, Yates, and then Evil Knievel is definitely being traded. Um, Pedro Valdez is a future prospects so we you know finally got a bullpen prospect Mejia and Hedges look to be good for the catching spots um, Hosmer I'm going to give him one more season if he doesn't decrease we'll definitely hold on to him so this is what I was talking about we're going to move Tatis to second um, you see he gets a little bit of a boost in rating as well um, that means Machado is going to play third or short Will Myers is going to play third because he can play that um, he's basically played all across the infield besides short and second and then he's played all outfield positions Urias is going to be our backup uh, infielder that means Framil Marias can move to left because he's the worst of the fielders um, Margot in center and then Hunter Renfro in right so the thing is Margot is I'm not sold on him hitting wise and then you guys can see our bench is kind of weak anyways um, like once we take away the DH Will Myers needs to start. What's going on here? I set the lineup. Ooh, let me set the lineup. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Alrighty, so this is what I'm thinking here. This is the lineup. We got good hitters all around the, the stadium, like all around the park. Like this, this is a solid team. Um, I might move Fran Mill just so we have a little bit more power. 
towards the bottom in this lineup here with um but this is the team really the standout player that's like kind of like a sore thumb that sticks out is margot and hitting wise he's he's just not ever gonna live up to it defensively and with speed he's great i think we need a new center fielder that's really the big concern for me this um second season a new center fielder uh get rid of Corey Kniebel um and then strengthen the bullpen the starting rotation is going to be set next season let's 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 find a replacement for Corey Kniebel and also Margot Alrighty, so this trade is for Harrison Bader and you're probably thinking well he's not that much better than Manuel Margot he's the same age same potential only two ratings higher um and hitting wise he's about 10 ratings better in each stat but I'm trusted in the process i've seen him grow quickly in other franchises so i'm hoping he does the same this one um franchi cordero is a player that we're also trading as well as angel vielma who i signed this um uh, free agent period like this free agency um for a pretty small contract so when i was scrolling through my center fielders you probably saw a player in there a center fielder um henry avalos who was actually a player that was drafted last season he was one player that had a 75 overall but his potential was only like 83 so that's why i didn't mention him in the draft like portion that i talked about so 75 overall but his potential is only 83 so that's why um when i saw him in free agency i remembered the name and this was definitely a player i was looking i was like holy cow his stats look decent already decent fielding good speed we could use him maybe next season he'll be our backup outfielder and we're looking pretty solid socrates brito will be our backup outfielder this year um harrison bader is i'm hoping i'm hoping he develops like i've seen him develop in previous franchise rebuilds that we've done this year and already he's up to an 82 so that's that's a big boost in our lineup i'm hoping this season does well um we still got to find that replacement for evil can evil all right we're training for adam simber of the indians i know we could probably pick up like another player um because we do have a little bit um leeway but we're just gonna make the trade um they're basically the same age they're, they're the same overall you know his stats look pretty solid um i don't know if i showed you them long enough they're, they're pretty all across the board pretty consistent pretty good um so now we don't have to worry about evil can evil ruining anything for us Luis, uh, Luis Garcia is kind of a utility player I see in free agency we kind of need another um, player that we can we can use off the bench I'm just gonna sign him to a year deal um, maybe, mm, yeah we'll do one year deal see how it goes um, he wants another year let's see if I can like tempt him with some more cash there we go that, that works um, so now we kind of have another bench bat we can rely on besides these two um and then obviously once urias isn't like part of the dh squad he'll be on the bench as well so it's looking a little bit better i'm really looking forward to seeing how this team plays out let's get into season two hopefully it goes well Alrighty, so looking at the draft picks by the cpu you can see russell ruiz a potential 69 overall and he has 95 potential that's awesome um the rest of them i'm gonna let walk We'll let this guy we'll keep this guy willie alvarado he's got 75 potential um we'll, we'll keep dave fulton because he's got speed as well but the rest we'll let walk just because i feel like we're, we'll be fine without them looking at the standings we're eight and a half behind the dodgers and in the wild card it's it's a pretty tight race we're one and a half games out you guys can't see it but we're 13th ranked actually you should be able to see it we got fourth power fifth defense seventh speed 19th contact and 14th pitching so overall a pretty solid year let's quickly look at the team matt strom's doing pretty solid as our ace his overall has gone down a little bit um but it looks like you know overall it's not a bad year um runs are a little bit high um it looks like he might go over what he did last year joey lucchese up to an 83 um definitely doing a little bit better than last year he's already eclipsed his pitch uh, his innings pitch from last season so that's that's a good thing to see he's, you know he's staying healthy um denilson lamette um looks like he's going to be doing similar numbers to last year so he might be a player i'm looking to move um same with eric lauer um luis perdomo so these three i really weren't too sure on to begin with 
and with the amount of prospects we have in the farm system i think we can afford to you know trade one of them to find a, a solid three for um this season and also for next season going forward um since lucchese is probably going to be a four and um we probably need to fill, find a, a two three lucchese be the four and one of those prospects be a five so um we currently have someone on the injured list in robbie erlin prior to that he looks like he was having a pretty solid season yeah 50 innings pitched two earned run you know like a two earned run average um it looks like he was definitely going to do better than what he was last season which is awesome to see unfortunately he got hurt Lou trevino trevino is doing solid um probably will have more hits than he did last season um actually his era went up mm, mm. weird how he's going up in rating but he's allowing more runs mm. jose castillo similar to last season almost identical um like on pace for a similar uh stat line simber no you can't be doing that to me um taylor rogers is looking like he's having a solid season kirby yates is doing similar numbers to last year um like yeah if he pitches 10 more innings he looks like he'll be doing pretty pretty similar numbers and chris davinsky is going down so we're going to swap these two um because it's looking like davinsky should not be our closer um harrison bader still an 82 um i was hoping his bat would be better and it's not his contact numbers have gone down a little bit versus lefties will myers is an 89 he's an absolute beast um somehow somehow he's an 89 but yet he's not hitting the ball well i don't understand that that makes no sense to me machado's up to a 94 um i didn't realize he only hit 18 home runs last year he's up to 16 already this year so hopefully he'll pass that renfro's gone up what i think one rating um if he can hit like the mid 270s maybe 280 on that average i'll definitely be happy with that hosmer 83 and it's starting to go down we'll, we'll keep an eye on it we'll definitely keep an eye on it fran mill reyes whoa 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 if you continue this tear that that was a great move to move on the left tatis jr is up to an 86 he's basically the same amount of home runs and ribbies as he had last season so he's doing pretty solid austin hedges is an 84 almost identical to last season like it's looking like he's gonna like finish the exact same and urias is a 74 as well looking like he's hitting the ball a little bit better brito's up to a 70 and he is up to a 76 so that's pretty good growth even though he's hitting at a 105 average and the free agent louis garcia um not doing too bad so he's looking like a pretty decent bench bat for us quickly very quickly i want to see how our pitchers are doing um, this Boucher guy is up to a 76. Everybody else. Okay. Um, the center fielder is up to a 75. Um, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on him still. But it's not looking like anybody's ready to be called up. Looking at the pitching. I don't really want to get a starter because I know. Well, yeah, we do need a starter. We need a, like a, a good starter now. And then we need because Lucchese is probably going to be mid 50 or mid 80s next season so he'll probably be like our three or four one of those prospects is probably going to hop into this spot so we definitely need we need a good ace like a, a backup to Strom because Strom's doing well we just need someone to kind of be that two or maybe even a better better pitcher than Strom which would be kind of cool to get um and then we need a bullpen arm so a starter and a bullpen arm let's do that already Adrian Morahone, one of our better pitching prospects. I didn't really want to trade him, but it really was the only way that we could like actually Michael Baez. Let's trade Michael Baez. Let's see if we can make this one work then. There we go. Jason Rosario, Michael Baez, and Eric Lauer for Luis Castillo um, is having a pretty solid season. Um, his stats, almost all 70s. Home runs and walks per nine are a little low. But I'm hoping those go up as the season progresses. That gives us a new starting pitcher that we needed. So we're going to put him here, move him up. And it already looks a little bit better. Obviously, once Erlen comes back, we have this spot all sorted out, the long relief roll. So I don't really want to find someone for that spot just yet. Um, Simber, we're going to we're gonna stick it out, um, see if he bounces back. And then we're going to leave this how it is because I feel like the offense will catch fire eventually. And if it doesn't, we have season three to change it up and see how it goes from there. So season two was, we're still seeing how things are going. I'm feeling pretty comfortable about it. 
let's let's see how the rest of the season plays out Alrighty, so to end season two i actually stepped away um and stopped recording so i couldn't show you the screen like the little pop-up that comes up to say what happens at the end of the season i stepped away i, I went to go eat some breakfast and then just kind of relax i was kind of i was kind of getting tired in the middle of recording so to end season two this is where i stopped it 88 and 74 we were nine games out in the west um in the wild card though we won the second wild card spot we're taking the mets uh we're taking on the mets um we got we had a, a two game cushion not so not too much of a cushion but um league leaders fran mill reyes had the best slugging percentage in the majors um or at least the nl this season so let's take a let's take a look and see how we did this year in terms of a team you guys can see luis castillo is up to a 90 um he might he might be our ace um if he can hit around you know 190 innings we might we might have a like a true ace there these these are some nice stats 224 era for 40 earned runs that's i want to see that consistently from him matt strom um i mean a 339 average in today's era of baseball is not bad at all obviously his runs went up he pitched some more innings um his whip went up a little bit he also struck out more people though so that's that's something that I like to see. You know, he's he's not necessarily getting worse. He's not necessarily getting better, but he's still a very consistent pitcher. Joey Lucchese has gone up a little bit as well. He pitched a lot more than he did in the previous season, but his runs went down, which is awesome. His ERA obviously is going to go down as well. So he looks like he's becoming, you know, maybe a 3-4 starter. Denilson Lamette is a pitcher I'm probably going to look to deal in the offseason or maybe at the start of season three. Don't get me wrong. You know, he probably will continue to get a little bit better. But at 27, he is 80 overall. And I definitely think we can get a little bit better of a pitcher at this point. <clears throat> Sorry. And then Perdomo. Perdomo is just, he's not going to cut it anymore. We got too many good uh, pitchers that we can rely on, um, you know, from the farm system or even from a trade that we could probably get. Maybe even free agency because I'm pretty sure there's a couple names that uh, are pretty good in free agency this um, this offseason. So Robbie Erlin um i mean he's looking like he's our he's our long reliever and that's not going to change you know he got hurt halfway through the season so he did he didn't pitch as much but he's still very consistent lou trevino is looking like the very good lou trevino um obviously his era went up a little bit you know more earned runs allowed but a decent decent whip he pitched a lot of innings and he's going up in rating so he's only going to get better um jose castillo is looking like he's kind of Hit his hit, hit his point that he's not going to get too much better. ERA went up. Runs did go down. He also pitched 10 less innings. Um, whip was about the same. So maybe we'll see if he grows up, grows over the offseason. Keep him or not. Um, Adam Simber pitched about pitched more than double what he did previous season. And that's probably what contributed to the ERA spike. Taylor Rogers rebounded from the previous season. Halved his ERA. Pitched 10 more innings. Th that's... That was what I was looking for when I traded for him. Chris Devensky. <sighs> yeah, I don't want to talk about it. And Kirby Yates. Kirby Yates is doing Kirby Yates things. He's 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 proven to be a key key part of this bullpen. Looking at the lineup now, Harrison Bader's up to an 83. Those aren't good hitting stats. I need to see something better. I traded for you know a good center fielder and not, you know, a Manuel Margot. Um Will Myers is up to a 90. I thought he was going to have a crazy year based on where he was at the deadline. Um, he did have a horrible year, but I wish his average on-base percentage and stuff was a little bit better. Machado is a 95. You know, a little bit of a bounce back year from the previous season, but I would still expect a little bit more. He's a 95. He's one of the best third basemen in baseball. One of the better hitters in baseball. I would expect a little bit more. Two, 275, not a bad average. Don't get me wrong. But I'm, I'm looking for 280s, 290s from him. Hunter Renfro's up to a 70 or 83, also a potential. This, These are good numbers. You know, similar home runs, a little bit more run production. Um, strikeouts went way up. But, uh, oh, maybe not. Slugging, OPS, on-base percentage all went down. So maybe that's not, not as good as I would have thought. So maybe, maybe we got to look out for Hunter Renfro too. Um, Eric Hosmer, he's... On base percentage is about 10 points lower. Slugging, 30. OPS is down. Average is down, but similar run production from the previous season. More strikeouts as well. 
we'll see how he does in the offseason if he goes up or stays the same um if not we we may trade him just to open up a little bit more salary cap space um so these two right now are kind of on my you know i don't i don't know i might have to get rid of them Fran mil reyes though is looking like a beast 44 homers 103 rbis 303 average 372 on base percentage slugging and ops through the roof look at those stats he looks unreal tatis jr is getting up to that scary point too 22 homers 76 ribbies a 305 average on base percentage went up slugging went up ops went up i mean this is looking like a star in the making austin hedges is still around that 84 85 mark you know everything went up besides slugging and ops but you know on base percentage went up and then luis urias you know played about half of what he did last season and hitting wise he's still not as good um the only one i'm really interested in here is francisco mejia and he's just he's not a good hitter uh, just not a good hitter at all um so that's kind of disappointing to see looking at our starting pitching prospects this guy is actually looking pretty good um in terms of hits per nine the rest are very suspect so i don't really trust them in you know a sim style franchise uh who else chris paddock still the per nines are kind of low um but everybody else is looking like they're just they're growing so quickly so the padres have a boatload of uh prospects pedro valdez another first season draft pick is doing pretty solid in terms of growth um and then really the only other player we have that i'd be considered uh, like i want to look at is henry avalos who he's up to a 76 um power versus lefties has gone down so is his contact versus lefties but he's gone up a little bit so maybe next season he'll be our uh platoon outfielder so going into this wild card match against the mets let's uh let's quick manage it like we do let's get into it we are playing at city field going against Syndergaard. this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough matchup um we'll leave the lineup how it is and let's get into it um a quick one two three inning so they have ahmed rosario jed lowry brandon nimmo nimmo was actually a player i was looking to trade for instead of harrison bader um but i just went with bader and said donaldson conforto ramos cespedes and smoke Alrighty. so our lineup has gone one two three they've gone one two three again and uh ooh, a double okay Alrighty. the pitcher spot didn't move him over bader bader with the two run homer puts us up two nothing and then they go and tie it wait why is luis castillo on the mound i didn't pick luis castillo oh oh no, no yeah i did oh my god why am i thinking it's ignore me i'm having pff, i'm all over the place i'm oh my gosh i'm not even i think i had too much coffee now i'm all over the place um but okay, we're we're up to the plate now. I'm all I'm all like, you know, back. I'm focused. First and second one out here gets one. We get out of the inning. All right, so the pitcher's up here in the sixth. He's been pitching pretty well. <sighs> Do I let him go some more? We'll let him go. I'm watching that energy. A double. He's done. Uh, Wilson Ramos is a righty, so we obviously want to bring in Trevino. He gets us out of the inning. Machado, come on. Renfro, Myers, somebody do something. I'm watching the stamina. I'm watching the stamina. Okay, Tatis, pitching change. All right, a single. Okay, a strikeout, a strikeout. The pitcher's up. Obviously, we're going to pinch hit. We're going to bring in um, Lurie Garcia because he's got decent hitting stats. But man, okay, pitching change. We're looking at righty switch lefty um here in the eighth let's bring in davinsky walks grounds out okay so top of the lineup top of the ninth eric hosmer is proven to be you know a player that's like i you, i'm not leaving i'm staying here kirby yates is coming in shuts the door and we're taking on the phillies there we go okay um I wanted to make sure I'm not. Okay, Phillies time. Will Castillo be ready to pitch? I don't know. 
What? Whatever. Let's just let's get into it. Strom. Actually, no. We're gonna do this. We're gonna we'll do that. Just so that Castillo comes in. All right. First game, we lose two to three, lose four to nothing, and it all comes down to this. All right. So now I'm, I'm focused. I'm realizing we're picking Joey Lucchese to take on Nick Pavetta. Lineup's the same. They have Segura, Hernandez, Harper, Hoskins, Odubel Herrera, Xander Bogarts, McCutcheon, Ray, and Pavetta. All right. So we get out of that inning. Can we get anything? We can't get the bats going there. Single caught stealing. All right. Nobody so far for us. And Gene Segura goes deep. Not good. We don't have a hit. They have four. Okay, we finally get a hit. Sack bunt. Nothing going on there. Okay, I'm watching I'm watching Lucchese's stamina. I saw it was getting a little bit low. Maybe he gives us one more. Hmm. One more inning. Okay, we're down two nothing though. So okay, there we go. We get a little little base runner and nothing happens there. So we're gonna bring in lefty. I think is we stolen base. Alright, Bogarts is up. Let's bring in Trevino. We get out of it. Alright. I don't really want to take him out, but I feel like we kinda have to. We're facing a righty. Um, yeah, let's go Socrates Brito. No. Okay. A triple. We need the run. Sack fly. We get it in. Single. Can we keep the inning going? We can't, but that's okay. We're within one. Let's bring in. We have a string of righties coming up. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Will Myers. No. Tatis Jr. Okay. Framil Reyes, please singles pitcher is up oh all right let's pinch hit Lurie Garcia you suck I can't believe I did that uh Davinsky's coming in lead off double awesome and a walk two runs score you've got to be kidding me you're joking me all right a double Machado singles uh fly out how are we will myers you beast ties it up okay whoo single all right you're coming out um what do we got righties um uh yeah well perdomo sack font a lefty, okay. Strikes out, grounds out, gets out of it, perfect. Used a lot more pitchers than we should have, but we definitely um, had a little bit of a situation there. A walk, a strikeout, caught stealing, and a double gets out of the inning. Come on, we need to score here. We're running low on pitchers. Awesome. Castillo, please get us out of this. I'm watching your stamina. Yes. Renfro. Please. Grounds out. Myers. Tatis. Oh, no. All right, we need this, please. Fran Mil Reyes brings us within one, okay. We're going for broke here. Mejia, singles, mm -hmm. strikes out. No, and that's the season. Okay, but promising. We, we won some games, we, we kept it a little close towards the end. The Phillies ended up winning the World Series. Anyways, let's get into season three feel like we're this close we just need the players to grow a little bit more obviously the pitching needs to get a little bit stronger so let's make let's make a couple moves and let's let's make this team you know a world series contender 
Alrighty, so these are the two contracts I've offered to Erlin and Yates. We'll see if they come back. Um, hopefully they do. We'll have to see. Um, arbitration wise, looking at it. Rodriguez won't get it, but everybody else will. Alrighty, so we are trading Xander Bogarts. Um, again, this means we're going to have to shuffle up the lineup a little bit. We're trading away Luis Perdomo because he's in the minors currently and one of our starting pitching prospects and Adrian Morejon. We're getting a 80, what was it, 86 rated shortstop? 84, but obviously once you trade a player, they, they kind of lower overall. But let's um, move the team around again because we need to. Uh -huh. And uh, once I once I get this all figured out, I'll, I'll show you guys what we're doing. Alrighty, we're going to the Indians for Mike Clevenger. His stats look good besides his hits and walks per nine. He's had pretty two pretty two pretty good seasons. Um, he is thirty. He's in his last year of his contract as well. He does have arbitration after this. We're giving up Xavier Edwards, Socrates Brito, and Garrett Boucher, um, or Boucher Boucher, however you want to say his name. But um, I'm. I'm trying to get this rotation as strong as possible. Um, I want to get rid of Lamette. Paddock isn't ready to come into the majors yet. He drops down um, from a 77 to a 73. If we, I believe, I believe. Let me check. If I move him to the MLB, yeah, he drops down to a 72. So he's just, he's not ready, which is I don't understand. He's at a good age where he should be in you know, at a point where he can come up to the, the majors, but I guess he's just not ready just yet. So unfortunately I wanted to get him involved, but he's not going to be. And so these four I'm cool with Lamette. I don't really trust the bullpen Simber and Castillo. I don't really have a hundred percent faith in, but everything else for the lineup is looking good. So maybe let's see if we can solidify the bullpen or that fifth starter spot. Alrighty, Denilson Lamette and Gene Gale are being traded for Tyler Skaggs. I've only traded for him once before, and that was an 18, and it went horribly. So we're going to see how this trade goes. Um, he's one of the higher rated pitchers that we can get that will help us out. Um, I'm still looking for a bullpen arm um, just because I feel like we need it. Like Simber and Castillo just don't really provide me with too much confidence but at the same time maybe we just leave it for now see how the season goes and if we need to make a trade then at the deadline we can make a trade so maybe that's what we do for now this is the lineup Bader, Tatis Jr, Machado, Reyes, Bogarts, Renfro, Myers, Hedges and Urias I just showed you the pitching rotation it's a lot stronger with the addition of Clevenger and Skaggs we'll see how those two you know perform Let's see how it goes season three. Alrighty, at the deadline, we're going with Adam Simbers, going back to the Indians, Sammy Solis and Buddy Reed for Alex Claudio. We're in need of some bullpen help at the deadline. You guys can see quickly here, we're eight, uh, seven games out in the West and we're one game out in the wild card. So um, that's, I feel like we needed uh, another arm. The thing is now we have too many lefties. I feel like we, we have, what three? Oh, three and four. I guess it's not too bad. Um, you guys can see the stats kind of of like how everyone's rated here at the deadline. I'm not gonna go into stats just yet. I want to just get quickly through season three, and uh, just wanted to show you guys where we're at, show you that guys that trade. Now let's see how the rest of the season plays out. Alrighty, so you guys can see again we are a wild card team, 92 and 70. I think we're taking on the Phillies again. League leaders, Xander Bogarts had the best war, and Luis Castillo and Kirby Yates had respective, you know, like the wins and saves. So, awards, Luis Castillo was the National League MVP, he had a gold glove, and was also the Cy Young. So, it turns out this guy's actually a pretty big beast. Um, let's look at the standings, we were nine games out in the West, and then the wild card, we got the second spot, of course, behind the Phillies. Um... Let's quickly look at the roster, see how these prospects are doing. Paddock's a 78, Gore's a 77, 76 for Patino, Quantrill, Quantrill, Ruiz. Um, that was a draft pick, I think, season two or season, yeah, season two. Um, you guys can see the team there. This guy was from season one. He looks pretty solid. Mejia's up to an 80. Um, Baleka was a player we signed in the offseason this year. 
and then Urias is that kind of growing. This guy we signed, his potential's gone down, but he's you know hit 80. Let's look at the team as a whole. You guys can see Xander Bogarts is up to a 90. He hit 308 on the year, so it looks like he was a pretty good acquisition for us. Um, Avalos took over for left, and I'll tell you why he took over for left was because Framil Reyes tore his hamstring, I believe it was. Machado, okay, he's getting better, you know, since the first season he's got here, which is actually, you know, a pretty big increase. Hunter Renfro, 273, so on base went up, slugging went up, OPS went up. He had 22 more ribbies, 13 home, no, 16 more homers. So finally putting up those big numbers. Will Myers is still doing pretty solid, you know. He had a down year last year, but this year he did really well, 276. Um, let's look at Machado's numbers again. Um, three more homers, you know, I mean, he's hitting in the three spot, so I can't expect him to like provide a lot of runs, but you know, he's, he's doing what I expect of him. Um, uh, Fernando Tatis Jr. is, you know, consistent actually, yikes. He had a down year in terms of average and everything, but like run pr production, he's pretty consistent. Austin Hedges seemed to have a down year. No, I don't know why he went down. This is like almost identical to what he's done the previous years Harrison Bader's up to a 86 and it looks like he had his best year offensively which is good to see and Urias is slowly he's slowly getting there you know obviously he's still he's only 22 so he's going to continue to get better and better Francisco Mejia is up to an 80 um had his okay year I guess um Pat Valleca an offseason pickup didn't really do much for us um pitching wise we know Luis Castillo was an absolute unit. 227 innings. Pff, that is just nuts. Like I said, if he could do that and like have a repeat of what he did last year with more innings, we were going to have a good pitcher. And it's looking like he did exactly that. Um, Clevenger, I'm not going to complain about that. Threw 60 more innings than he did the previous year. Only allowed 20 more runs. Solid, solid stats. Under a 3 ERA. Skaggs. A three ERA for a three starter, I will 100% take that. A um, couple more runs allowed, you know, similar strikeout numbers, less innings pitched from the previous year though. That's that's okay. I like that. Strom, um, you know, he's just been consistent, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about that. That is what I want. You know, what was that? A, a three five ERA. That's still pretty solid. And Lucchese still growing a little bit, um, but again, he's been he's been pretty consistent the last two seasons um so overall consistency with the starting rotation which is something i usually don't have um so i like to see that erlin is up to an 89 he's been holding you know down that spot he was hurt for about half the season or a quarter of the season so um these stats here you know probably his worst season overall um in terms of era but still what was it yeah, it, it, it was probably his worst thing. He threw 30 innings less and almost had the same amount of runs. So, pretty rough. Taylor Rogers had a rough first season in San Diego, but the next two have been lights out for him. So, he he's showing his worth, what I wanted him to be when we traded for him. Jose Castillo is looking like he's just, he's not getting any better. Trevino, this is what I'm talking about. Good, okay. And now he's just, he's fallen off, which is what I was afraid was going to happen. Claudio, you know, not a bad mid-season acquisition. You know, he held that two ERA, kept the runs down, similar innings, solid. Davinsky, eh, you know, wish he would have done better. And then Kirby Yates, probably his worst season out of the, uh, you know, out of everything. It looks like he's more of a, a setup man rather than the closer most runs allowed um he, i mean he hit 58 51 saves eight blown saves it's just looking like maybe maybe he's not as you know solid as he once was overall though whoo this team's looking dangerous offensively um framil reyes let me see how he was doing before he got hurt with the torn mcl 238 24 homers 81 ribbies i mean he's a run producer it's just the average wasn't there this year, and obviously him getting hurt was a big, big disappointment. So that's the season. That's the season. You guys can see the playoff picture here. Let's get into this 
playoff match, this wild card game against the Phillies. Who are we gonna go against today? So I'm yeah, I'm like 100 percent sure we faced them last season in the wild card. Um, if memory serves me right, um, we're going against Nola. Ooh, voice crack. Nola and single for Avalos. He's got some speed. Let's see if we can take second on him. Ooh, we do. Runner in scoring position, Machado two run homer. And I feel like Machado last playoffs was pretty quiet. So I wonder if we can get him involved a little bit more this season or these playoffs. So the Phillies have Segura, Hernandez, Harper, Hoskins, Nick Williams, JT Realmuto, Herrera, and Michael Franco. Um, Luis Castillo, you pitched this game last year. Let's close them out. We have a three run lead, a double by Bogarts. There we go. Machado, okay, okay, okay. I can't complain. You, you gave us a lead last time. Tatis Jr., there we go. Um, Let's see here. Nothing going this inning, unfortunately. Bases loaded, no outs. Two run score, pop up, one run scores, two outs. Gets us out of the inning. It is a one run ball game, though. Double play, yikes. All right. The energy is low. I'm watching it. Yeah, you're done, bud. You've done well, though. Okay. Erling gets us out. Double by Tatis. There we go. Pitching change. Hedges. Runners thrown out. We needed that run. And now it is a tie ball game. walk okay runners thrown out machado again delivers when we need it whoo that's what i'm talking about all right let's just because harper's up okay well then one out two outs we get out of that jam there we go all right um pinch hit I guess Valeka, he grounds out. All right. Let's close it out, Yates. Okay. Oh, this is only the eighth. I'm an idiot. I thought it was a little bit lower. Later. Bases loaded, one out. Double play. Woo. Double. Okay. Yates, close it out. Come on. One run scores. A fly out. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, I didn't want to do that. He gets us out of the inning, though. There we go. Two homers for Machado. I will take it. We're taking on the Dodgers again. Lose the first. Win the second. I don't care about the message. Win the third. Ooh, it is elimination game at 2-2. Two to two. Here we go. Come on. We are the away team for this one. Luis Castillo's on the mound. Let's see who we have. Let's get it started. Walker Bueller. One, two, three for us. Tolls Casey. I wonder who this Casey is. Seeger, Bellinger, Muncy, Chris Taylor, Kike Hernandez, and Ruiz. All right. All right. We get out of that. Will Myers with the homer. All right. Chris Taylor ties it up. It's a 1 1 game. Okay. 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 They have four hits. We only have one. All right, make it two now. All righty, all right, all right. Fifth inning, can we do something here? A single, Bader strikes out, and then the pitcher grounds out. So, bit of a pitching duel so far. Stolen base, runner in scoring position, Machado walks. Renfro with the three-run bomb puts us up. Okay. Single first and second one run scores. You're done. Um, Erlin, I guess, gets us out of it. All right, cool. Hedges, Bader. Well, let me. See. I can't. All right, they're lined up. They're gonna have a lefty. Yeah, we'll we'll leave the pitcher in. Works perfectly. All right. Walks. Machado walks. Renfro 
strikes out Myers grinds grounds out um lefty lefty let's go Claudio pop up Devensky gets us out of it perfect Tatis Jr. doubles to lead off the inning Bader walks first and second pinch hit we don't really have a good hitter facing a righty it's probably gonna be Urias yeah Flies out first and third. No, couldn't get it. Let's get it, Yates. Let's close it out here. One scores, and they walked it off. Kirby Yates, you just had to get one. You needed one more out. That's all you got to do, and you let them walk it off. Oh, we had in the driver's seat, and it's a walk off. Oh. The Yankees defeat the Mets. Oh man. That one that one stings a little bit cuz we it was right there. You know, it was like right here, right here and no, they just took it away from us. Unfortunate. Well, let's see. Bogarts didn't really do too well in the postseason. Avalos hit the ball pretty well. Machado hit the ball well. Really Bader, yikes. Urias didn't do too well. Bogarts didn't do too well. Pitching wise, let's see. Castillo. Skaggs did well. I mean, yikes, Lucchese. Um, Erlin, Rogers. I mean, the two guys we would want to do the best, Devensky and Yates, let us down. Which is which is crazy because look at Yates. First two seasons unreal third season he just falls apart i mean i get it you know he's he's 34 maybe not this you know not the same whip on the ball or anything but <sighs> all right well looking at the team you guys can see most of these players are going to be locked up for the future we have machado for the foreseeable future um will myers you know he's still got two years on his deal xander bogars has got three skaggs has got four castillo's got arbitration bader's got arbitration erlin yates um clevenger probably a free agent um unless we could somehow bring him back renfro um but yeah most of these players are on arbitration or you know can be signed back you know per, for a similar contract and i think we'd be able to do it and when you look at this lineup they're still you know hitting their prime they're still young pitching we got so many prospects castillo's 28 Clevenger just hit 30. Skaggs is what 29. Strom, 29. Lucchese's, you know, 27. Boom. Starting rotation set. Bullpen. You probably need to replace Castillo, Trevino, and Davinsky or Yates. So three, three bullpen arms. But when you have an offensive lineup like this, that's only gonna get better. I don't see how this Padres team couldn't win a World Series next year. But I'm gonna end it here, guys. I can't believe we lost that game on a walk off, but unfortunately that's just that's just the way it is and I hope you guys enjoyed this Padres rebuild. Let me know what you guys think of it and I will catch you all in the next video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always in the comment section below. Leave a comment. Let me know who to do next. See you guys next time. Peace.